hope everyone's well. Just a quick update on the old tricopter with the KK2 board. Done a rather uh, unconventional wiring method um, because I was having problems with dropout. Um, basically, what I've done is I've done the same as I did on my APM board, which is no power or ground wires to any of the motor inputs apart from motor one. Motor one's powered by a dedicated 5 volt UBEC on the power and ground side uh, and then the separate wire for the signal goes to the ESC so no power from the ESC just UBEC so it's just getting the signal from each of the ESCs and the power from the UBEC and one only all the others signal only the servo signal only and then servo this is a bit sort of hodgepodge at the minute has a separate Beck. This one's a 6 volt Beck, which is wired directly from the wiring harness. This is all a bit temporary. So, a separate 6 volt Beck, which goes to the actual servo, doesn't touch the board, doesn't touch any pins on the board. The power goes straight to the servo. The only thing that goes to the board is a signal. Um, just done the smoke test, and it's fine, it works fine. So, I'll give it a flight tomorrow, and hopefully, that would have fixed. Uh, Problems with the dropout on M1, which is where I was paying the board from. I figured out that's 30 milliamps. I think that's about 30 milliamps. That's half an amp, so it shouldn't have been a problem. But I don't know, it might be a week back or something. So I will let you know. But yeah, you can wire it that way. You don't have to wire it the way they say. Off the back, you can wire it off a separate back, a U back. But make sure that those signal wires are the only thing going to the board on those channels. That should also help with not having two or three becks on the board at once. So uh, good luck all and I'll see you later. Cheers, bye.